All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? So today we're going to talk about some D-Lydian arpeggios, specifically those two I just played. All right, so we're going to be in standard tuning. Then we're going to be in the mode or key, as it were, of D-Lydian. That's going to give us... Uh, three sharps. It's going to give us the parent key of A major. And um, I did get into that into the pentatonic uh, D Lydian video I did last week. So go back and check that out. And um, a little later this week, we'll get into some of the scales I use for D Lydian um, a little more. But today we're going to talk about how to play one with this backing track and those arpeggios. So a little bit about this backing track. It does move into a slightly different key in this section. So for this section, Like an E major pentatonic or just E major is going to work best, I think. That gives us a chance to move uh, that D sharp to our D for our Lydian here. So here's our Lydian. Here's the arpeggios. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and throw up the tabs. And the first one you're going to see is this D major taken up here on the 17th fret of the A string with the pinky. All right, so 17th fret with our pinky, and then we're gonna do our, our third finger is gonna be on the 16th fret, index finger is gonna be on the 14th fret, middle finger on the 15th fret, and then index finger is gonna be on the 14th fret of the A, D, G, B, and E strings respectively. So it's, it looks like a C major chord if we had a bar across the 14th fret but we're going to be calling it D major. And I'm going to go down, 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 all the way to the E string. And then I'm going to do an upstroke on the 17th fret and a downstroke on the 16th fret. Now, the second arpeggio I'm going to do is technically what we call an A major 7th chord, and that's going to be the one that comes up here on the uh, 21st to 17th fret on the, on the E and B. All right, and then we've got 18 to 14 the uh, G and D, and then we have uh, 16 uh, to 12 on the A and E. So all together it's... And I'm, I'm basically just going to use my index finger and my pinky for this. In the higher ranges, sometimes I will use my first and third finger. Especially if I'm going to grab a note up here. If I stuck these two things together, it might look or sound like this. Let's start with the other arpeggio first. That's just some ideas about how you can put these things together and use them, but just two little arpeggios that I tend to use all the time when I'm soloing over tracks like this in D Lydian. And I think that e even at, at a very slow tempo, it's something that you could do that sounds sonically awesome. And uh, really, now why we're, we're playing guitar, because we like things that sound awesome, right? So let's just check that out one more time. Maybe do like quarter or half notes. want to point out something right there you saw me I made a, a, a little bit of a mistake I make them all the time I think one important thing that I just would like to uh, implore to you is that that's the right word uh, just heavily advise to you to don't stop when you make those mistakes just keep going they happen sometimes you come across really cool stuff I know everybody says that but it's true just keep going we all make mistakes and I'm not again I'm not here to show you how awesome for a fam I'm here to show you how much fun I have playing guitar, and I think that you can have that fun too. So one last time over this track, here's our E major pentatonic, or E major.
There's a little chromaticism in there. Awesome. So I will be back later this week with doing some more D Lydian stuff and talking about how to play over this track in particular. And again, I will leave a link for this track. I'll leave a link for the uh, D Pentatonic uh, Lydian stuff we did last week. You really can add a lot of this stuff in now, and I'll do that when I play out. I'll do my best to try and show that here when we play this video out. But that's going to do it for me. Go ahead, like, subscribe, check out my shorts. I'm having a lot of fun making them. I think I'm getting better at them. I'll, I'll do my best there. They sure are fun. And uh, yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if there's anything you'd like to know how I do or like me to make content over, I'd be open to doing. Anyways, everybody always be excellent to each other and party on.